a movie like House of Wax. Just got really hot. My fingers just kind of started bubbling a little bit. He said, the house is burned down. The whole stage is gone. I'm Alicia. I'm Chad. I'm Jared. I'm Paris, and we're making a movie in Australia for legendary producer Joel Silver. Joel's the boss. He's the man. He's hot. And he invited some cameras along to capture the madness. The thrill, the insanity. The chaos of making a movie. You know, it's not always about what happens between action and cut. This is movie life, House of Wax. I didn't even see. From the outside, it looks like it's just... Look at that It's all blown up. Oh. It looked like someone went over and bombed the Gold Coast Warner Brothers studio. It was crazy. It was a very sombering moment when everyone came back, and just kind of the reality was in the back of their head of, wow, that was a close one. <laughs> We're really blessed that everyone was okay. But we still had a movie to finish. It's no one's fault. It happens. Shooting got put on hold for like a week or two weeks. Um, and they finally, we finally got back to work. It'll be great. We'll keep going. We'll finish the movie. And a new studio will be built. <laughs> Today. No, I was just doing press today. I found out about Paris' singing career on the set because she had talked about it quite a bit. I've always been singing my entire life. I would always sing as a child, and then as I got older, everyone's like, you have a good voice. So I just started writing an album, and it's turning out really well. Tell us about the album. Uh, well, my single is called Screwed. I'm a creative person, and I love music, and I love acting. It's like rock, like, kind of like Blondie. Yeah. It rocks. The right single now. is off the hook. Off the hook. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks very much, Thank you. Thanks for Thank you. Bye, everyone. Now, fortunately, we were able to shut the show down for a few weeks, and then rebuild that stuff and go down there and reshoot it. It's amazing. Me and some of the people from the movie went on a boat party, which is really fun. They do that in Australia a lot, where you just get on boats and you can have everyone, like, stick theirs together and everyone has their music on. So we just had lunch and it was cool. Blast of music. What's it called? You on those things? I forgot what it's called. Jet ski. No, we're in my hair. Do you have to wear this? Do I have to? Oh, it's illegal? I love it here. It's so fun. At the party, we like danced, and everyone was like, "We want to hear your single, screwed." She wants you to put my song on again. I don't know why. <laughs> I love it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I love my music, and I love the energy and everyone getting excited, so it's fun for me. Are we running to do the thing? What up, guys? Jared's hot. We became very close. Apparently, from Chad Michael Murray's mouth,
Mr. Michael Murray started some rumor that Paris has a crush on me or something. So I slept last night. I went to bed at like 8 o'clock. I slept for 15 hours. I slept yeah. from, okay. from 5 o'clock until 6 o'clock. I slept at like 4 in the morning. Yeah. So tired. I mean, you have a sweet place too, right? Yeah. Aren't you on the roof somewhere? I don't like it. It looks much better on the internet. Really? Yeah, it's so cheesy looking. Everybody thinks y'all are like in love and stuff. I'm like, what? What's up, you dirty little girl? I'm not a dirty little girl. My trailer's a double Y. I see that. <laughs> he's like, oh, really? Well, where were you last night? And I was like, sleeping. He's like, sleeping what? And I was like, sleeping, sleeping? Like, in my hotel room? Mm. I was sleeping for 14 hours. You know I was sleeping. How do I know that? I called you, you didn't answer. Didn't you, everybody else went out, they were saying. I didn't go out. Okay, well, everybody in the world went out. Someone else you. conveniently didn't go out either. I didn't do anything last night. I was too tired. <laughs> it's amazing coincidence, but... <laughs> what? It's not... <laughs> He's crazy, and he must have something clinically wrong with him. You're the only person that said anything about it, and it's I'm... so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, guys, so what'd you do this Party week? On. Well, um, neither. What'd y'all do this week? It's gonna be so ridiculous. Don't you rap? It's gonna you be are... a long shoot. You know what? I, I'm a down-to-earth enough guy. She's a big girl. If she had a crush on me, I'm sure she'd say it. Jared is drop-dead gorgeous. He's so funny. He's sweet. He's a really good actor, and we had the best time. <laughs> if I didn't have a girlfriend and it were true, you know what? She has a boyfriend. She's going out with, um... I don't remember his name. Nick Carter. That's right. I'm very happy for her. You know, like do your thing mm -hmm. so um and good luck paris and nick always and forever coming up My death scene took, I think it was two or three days. I'll say two. These are the storyboards of your death. Is this where it starts? Yeah. This is after you ran away and escaped and got into the sugar mill. So all we need to do is get you so that your, your knees sort of come up pretty close to it and pipe will come through that so window and hit you straight in the forehead and all your head's going to do is go straight back. So three, two, one, go. Come forward so that about there, so the pipes hit the ground. Okay? That sounds so good. Okay. I'm just uh, giving Paris a very um, silvery and shiny look. It's all we're going to see is the reflection of the silver in her body and her face. Glitter. Glitter. I love glitter. Not pale. Yeah, but it'll be all very shimmery on camera. Even the boys wear glitter? Yes. I love glitter. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really cold, and I'm nothing but a bra, panties, no shoes, and, like, a varsity jacket that's, like, falling off of me. I look sick. <laughs> so what should I do? You know, just, like... Imagine that you're in like this dark place, you know, which is like pretty dark. And you're just like looking around, you know, just, just make believe. Okay. That's it. You, you might feel sorry, but it wouldn't look And then good. come closer to the camera. Do you hear it? Or close it? The most challenging part sometimes is just having to like scream when there's nothing going on. You have to do it so many times. So sometimes I'd be shy to do that, but you get used to it. <laughs> and it was real, like the entire place was a real sugar mill. It smelled like crap. It was sticky everywhere, like glass on the floor. When I'm like crying, I'm like really am crying because I'm in so much pain and I was so cold and like miserable. It was annoying. <laughs> After I find my boyfriend, like, dead, I'm freaking out and I'm running from the killer. And then, uh, 
I get stabbed in the foot and I have to like keep running and running. Finally, I'm like hiding and I get a pole thrown through my head. So I was kind of nervous. It's pretty gruesome. Once we had the set rebuilt, it was time for everyone to film their last shots of the movie. Well, this needs to be a wall of like, stuff. I'm probably trying to get the curtain of it. It's the finale of getting out of the house of wax. So it's a hallway, mean foyer. I'm trying to exit, but then the stairs give way. It's kind of gross, but it'll look good. Oh, what are you doing? To keep your adrenaline rush and to keep in the moment of a situation that you could ever imagine, which is a house of wax, a set melting and burning around you, you just got to be in it. It was a learning experience, you know. It's not always the easiest thing. Okay. Uh, Okay, the first lamp will go need that thing on action. There, guys. Action. You know, so I'm hobbling with Alicia leading me forward. You know, stuff's just dropping from up above. And... Needless to say, it's messy. Don't was a little shook up. I mean, I would have been. I think anyone in their right mind would have been. It was tough. It was the tough, a tough ending to a very long, um, physically demanding shoot. Hey. I don't You're not going to talk about my explosion, are you? Because she had the camera on me when I got upset. I haven't said a damn thing. I've never played a single solitary person. Mm. I've just done my job. Get that camera out of here. Uh, what happens to my character in the movie is I get kidnapped by the killer, and he waxes me and whipped my ass. Oh, I was pretty freaked out. Actually. The last day I think of shooting anything, you know, you've kind of built relationships with everybody, and so it feels, it's bittersweet because you feel like, ah, you know, thank God, I finished that. Hey, boys. Got some good moments there. It's so sick. That's your last scene. I'm going to. I'm going to, yeah. I love to. So it's an interesting experience, and you just kind of hug everybody goodbye and hope that you'll see him again and, you know, wish everybody the best and go on with your life. Uh, to leave the ball where you found I will, I will. You're going to be strip searched on the way out of this video. <laughs> so when Chad and I finished our last scene together, it was, uh, it was really nice to know that we could go back home, f see our friends and family again. I'm done. It's bittersweet. What I love most about acting is you just get to try on someone else's skin for a few minutes. You get to be away from whatever it is 
in here that scares you, whatever it is in here that scares you, you know, let your insecurities come out in your work. That's what I love about being an actor. <laughs> Playing Nick was fun. Yeah, I'll be back. Like, yeah. Say goodbye to everyone, but I'm going to off my self first. Going out looking like crap, but that's okay, because I started looking real good. It was just a great film experience. You know what I mean? Look, I'm all covered in blood, and I chose where I wanted blood, so it looks good. I'm happy. It's been fun. Peace. Even though we're done filming, there's still a lot more work to be done in the States, so it does not end here. So I'm not even finished back yet. I'm really sad I'm leaving. It's one of the best that we shall hang out with friends. I just had a good time here. I never have so many nice friends. It was a fun experience. I look like Santa Claus. Can I get Yeah. Okay. Oh, candy. Do it this way. Candy Claus. I like this bread. <laughs> Is Jared on the same flight as me? <laughs> Is he? When I was about to leave my apartment in Australia, I realized that I'd left behind 20 grand. Only like 10 or 20 grand. Only like 10 or 20 grand. That would have sucked. Thanks, Brad. After I packed my things, there was still one more thing to do. I had to go to the cast photo shoot. Boy. It was a photo shoot that we had to do for ads, for posters, for, you know, little spots in magazines, and they had us all getting together like we had a party. Did you snap? Now it looks like I'm like looking at her breast or her shoes or something. Really straight, yeah, like to me. <laughs> <laughs> now the photo shoot was really cool. You know, it was just that everyone was there. It was the last thing we did before we left Australia. It was a good time. What's up, everyone? What up, I got my camera, so I get copies for everyone. Paris, you know, the little one there in front. Come closer and take it. Okay. Everyone look at my camera. This one. Another one. One, two, three. Thanks, bitch. Look again, guys. One more. Sorry. We have another one, Sarah. You there? Thanks, bitch. One more. I crossed my leg. Thanks, bitch. Okay, step up, everybody. Here we go. Last shot of the day. I think there's a lot of pieces here in Australia I'm going to miss, but for the most part, I'm really looking forward to going home. I'm looking forward to getting back into my roots. I'm looking forward to just being with Sophia and just getting my routine a little bit back. You know, routine's not always great, but sometimes it's comfortable, and it's nice to have. I was really excited to be leaving because I felt like I was closing the book on... on all these chapters that have happened in Australia and I know that I have the pictures and the footage and the movie to kind of look back onto and go what a time I had but I, I had missed home but that's not to say I didn't have a great time I had an incredible time I am both sad to be leaving Australia and excited to be going home it's been an amazing experience and I've you know I've gotten to to work on a, on a great, fun film. I've gotten to make some friends and make better friends with some friends that were already friends. I'd like to, 
you know, stay in Australia for a bit longer, but, you know, I got a life to get back to. There's so many things I'll miss about Australia. Crew and the kangaroos, and I really enjoyed meeting everyone in the cast. Like, we became very close, so it was nice to have friends. And it was really cool because the whole entire cast was, like, the same age, but I love Australia, too. Next time on Movie Line, House of Wax. You're complete with the picture, and now you have to start working on the sound. Get a job. What? Sorry, I've never really done a sit-down and sort of autograph signing thing, so I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. My hands start to cramp. I'm going to Cancun. I'm so excited. I go every year. Let's hear it. It's my birthday today, and we just have a fun party going on.